Okay, well, I'll ask the first question and then we'll turn to the room and then online. Sophia, how did it feel um, playing on Rod Laver, Rod Laver Arena again after last year? Um, yeah, it felt really good. Uh, obviously, some nerves coming in. Um, obviously, I'm sure everyone saw that. But, um, yeah, it's obviously nice to get the win. And, you know, I obviously love the court. I have great memories. So um, it was a little bit emotional, but try to handle uh, my emotions. Okay, we'll go to questions in the room. Questions over here. Um, how did you feel out there toward, in the first set? I mean, you, did you feel like you were feeling the ball well? You looked a little bit um, maybe annoyed with yourself toward the end of the set. You weren't getting as many shots in as you used to. Yeah, I was obviously quite annoyed the whole match. I mean, I felt like, you know, the first two points, I started off well and then wasn't able to close out the first game. And obviously nerves happened, but she obviously played really well. And, you know, she's a tricky opponent, a tr you know, a tricky player. So, uh, yeah, I was quite hard on myself today and, you know, quite annoyed, as you said. <laughs> Like you rolled your left ankle going for a turn the first set. I know, I remember, yeah. yeah I remember because, like, I was playing, you know, usually that happens, like, when I'm not playing well or, like, not in the zone or anything. But I was, I was, like, there, and all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, am I going to be injured? But then, like, luckily it was fine. Okay, so no problem. No, no, thank God. <laughs> okay, over here again. Can you just talk a little bit more about the nerves? Did you feel a lot more pressure coming into this match? How, how were you feeling before the match today? Um, obviously, yeah, um, emotions, you know, maybe some tears and stuff. But, um, yeah, I just felt like a little bit of pressure, you know. She obviously, you know, came out swinging. I knew she was going to play well. I uh, knew the crowd was going to be more or less behind her, you know. I'm happy that I had some crowd behind me. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously I was nervous. And, you know, obviously first match at a slam is never easy. And, you know, obviously when, she's, when she was playing, you know, she's playing a defend champion. So, of course, it's... You know, she's more loose, you know, I obviously am tight, you know, I wasn't 100% there, you know, like mentally, and, but um, yeah, a win is a win, and I'll take it. Any more questions in the room? Okay, we'll switch online. Thank you. A reminder to our online journalists, if you have a question for Sophia Kennan, can you please use the raise your hand function? Our first question from the Associated Press, Howard Frendrick. I uh, wanted to follow up on the, the nerves thing, and I'm just wondering how often that happens for you. Is it every match when you walk out there? Is it certain matches at certain places? And how, how does it manifest itself for you? I mean, when you're on the court, what what is it that it makes you feel or do physically differently, maybe? Well, I obviously get nervous um, before every match, but I guess here is a little bit more since, I guess, obviously from last year, memories and everything. So, you know, I have to try to put my emotions aside, you know, for like a match. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, as, uh, as the match starts, you know, I try to, you know, I let it out before the match. And then as the match starts, it's, it's more or less fine. Like, I don't feel as nervous as, like, going to the match. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I have to somehow get better at that if I want to do well here. And what, what, as you feel that, and you don't want it to hurt the way you're playing, how do you try to get past those feelings? I mean, I suppose to at least, but I try to, you know, just have a rhythm, you know, try to feel my shots, you know. I mean, obviously, I did play some good points today, and it obviously was good. But, um, yeah, I mean, just trying to get a groove, you know, trying to feel the ball. And then, you know, obviously, as the result is going my way, then it's a little bit easier for me to handle my nerves. Thank you. Our next question, Gunnar. Hi, congratulations for the win. Thank uh, you. What are your thoughts uh, on your next opponent, Kaya Karate, who you faced uh, 2018 in Rome? Um, yes, uh, thank you for reminding me that I lost. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, yeah, I remember. So after after my match, I came off court and, you know, I looked I looked um, that she was winning and maybe kind of broke down a little bit, you know, because obviously I remember I lost to her. But I'm obviously going to try to, you know, just prepare and do everything I can to to win. She's obviously a tough player and she's playing big. So we'll see how it's going to go. Thank you. Our next question, Courtney. Sonia, obviously, you, you've played big matches in your career, uh, matches where you're going to be nervous. But how, how did today compare to playing the AO final, playing Roland Garros final, playing Fed Cup, you know, all of these other big matches? How, how did today compare emotionally? 
I mean, I think it was a bit more, honestly, because, you know, last year, like I said, I have, like, great memories and, you know, obviously stepping on the court, you know, obviously imagining everything where, every, ooh, where everything was. So I'm, you know, trying to, like, put that aside. And maybe there were some tears, you know, eyes were a little bit wet during the match, but, you know, I tried to cool off and put that aside. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's emotional, but, you know, as I said, you know, I have to handle my emotions and, you know, I uh, had to let off some steam, uh, let off some steam before the match. But then, as the match went, you know, luckily it was fine. But then towards the end, you can see like I got a little bit emotional as well. Like, you know, standing at the net, you know, I was like, okay, don't cry. But yeah, my eyes were red, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and do you do you think that you're going to have to play through this for? at best seven matches or do you think that it's going to dissipate is are things going to feel normal for you at some point i mean the first match for a defending champion is always especially the first time you're defending is going to be tricky but but do you have tricks to kind of attempt to make this as normal a tournament as you can possibly make it I mean, I'm going to try. Obviously, I don't have any tricks because this is my first time, you know, experiencing this. And, of course, first match, you know, as a defending champion is obviously, you know, a little bit hard and tricky for me. But, you know, I, I hope, obviously, that my emotions will somehow come down, hopefully, as the matches go. But um, we'll see. I cannot promise anything. <laughs> and sorry, last one for me. But on playing Kaya, just from a tennis perspective, X's and O's, can you talk about the challenge of playing her? Obviously, she, she hits big. How do you diffuse power? I mean, I love power, you know, but um, yeah, I mean, just try to play my game, you know, handle the pace. Um, I mean, last time I played her, I, I was just fine, you know, she obviously did some stuff, which I'm not going to say. But um, yeah, I mean, I just, I just have to play my game and I really hope it's going to be good enough to win. Thank you. And final question from ESPN, Willie. What are your thoughts on the absence of lines persons and is that something that you'd like to see at other places as well. I mean, I'm fine with either way, but I guess I'm like obviously used to the lines people there and use, you know, I'm obviously used to challenging. So it's a little bit different for me, but I'm fine with, you know, the Hawkeye, but I mean, it makes no difference for me.